ready. My new Smurkle design. First, you probably want to get a new airbox lid. Brand spanking new from Cowie. $39 Canadian. 41 tax. This little guy here, it's a dryer vent putting it inside the house. It's a three inch hole in the back. It's got a flap in the middle. We'll yank that flap out and we'll uh, trim this edge down here. It goes around the three inch hole. Flush. It's amounts of flush here. First, I'll start off with a two inch hole. And that's why I want to flush so it goes on there good. And then I'll go to the three inch hole. I'll take my other one in my bag, which I have in that bag right there. And I'll mount it to the hole, goes straight into it. See, so has some sort of support in the middle. That's what I'm going to do. But two inch first, so that's why I bought two of them. You want some, uh, you took brown, have been twice been brown and white. I picked brown because it scratches the, to the paint. It'll be brown, not white, so it'll be as long as well. And uh, some silicone there. Black, stir your silicone. One year guarantee, I guess, I don't know. I'll have it flush against the thing. And I'll use bolts instead of uh, screws. I got little tiny bolts up on the shelf there. I'll put there, 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 and there, and I'll put one in each corner up there. Suck it right down, and uh, take silicone right here, and you beat it all along the edge. Put it all along the edge. Okay, now you can see it better. All along the edge. So, first thing I'm going to do is rip that this thing apart here and uh, paint it and then I'll probably paint both of them and uh, that's all I'm really going to do tonight I think or maybe just keep it brown so I work on it right, we'll see and that's about it I think I'll show you what I'm going to do in a while more steps involved bye Okay, this is a mock-up. How it's gonna look? This is how it's gonna be when you're driving. It'll be lower down, down flusher to the airbox lid. So it looks not too bad. It looks almost like stock. Kind of weird. And um, just gotta be careful, I guess, when you lean forward too much. You might cut the air off, but it's not too bad. Before it circles on the outside, on uh, the plastic is right here, there, and here. I found that was a very bad design. I also had them real tall, but even then, it wasn't very good. If you saw it in the water, you know, like, you're, um, what do you call it? Side, you know, put the quad inside in the water into a corner. Guess what? That circle has gone under the water. Boom. My second design, was in the middle. And to dunk that underwater is very hard. You had to roll the quad basically over. And once to do that, anything is screwed. This new design back here will allow for water, a lot of water crossings. Only problem be the belt. But as long as the motor runs, you can keep the quad going, get tow out or push the rest away, let the belt slowly work in low range and crawl out. Then it's wet. It can happen. As long as you push and use a winch, whatever. And belt easy to drain, dry. So, the motor is very important. And I'll come back in a bit. Okay, I just, uh, hang on here. Things all enough. I see I trimmed, I took that piece out of there. I trimmed that piece off. Looks pretty good. I then placed it on top, my position. And then I trace the marker onto there. That's the three inch hole. I'll put a two inch hole right in the middle of that three inch hole. Put this on top, make the bolt holes, drill it, bolt it down, and then probably paint it up tonight. And then tomorrow I'll test it out. Doesn't work good? I'll bump up to two and a half inch. I'll keep bumping up until maximum three. I know three works pretty good. Because three inch snorkel usually works very well here, so it's two inch. 
three inches is better. And the oval hole coming off the airbox stock is more like a three inch than a two inch. Maybe two and a half, but you can't buy two and a half inch PVC. I'm not around here with this. So, I'll continue on, I'll drill a hole, mock it up, I'll show you again how it works. Alright, I'm back again. I just took my two inch hole saw, cut into her, looks pretty good. One more tip for you guys out there. If you live in Canada or Northern States, this little dumb ring, this little seal on the airbox, when it's real cold outside, and you have a bunch of snow and water that can collect in the airbox, and on the edge here, make sure you uh, glue this down. It always fall, falls off. When you pull the airbox lid off, it takes snow out of your airbox. Clean your airbox out. So mental. And uh, if I don't want to take it out enough times, it actually it's bigger. It fits in good. So I cut it and then I joined it together right there. And it's good. I had to re glue this part here. I use uh, some kind of silicone before to put this in. Sorry, you take it out again. But I actually glued this part right here, this corner piece. It's popping out again. If the rest pops out, I'll glue it all down. It's easy to come out with, I just yank it out so I don't never take it out ever again. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll mock it up. Okay, I'm back again. Here's the basically finished product, but it's got to paint it and you gotta, you know, make sure it works even. <laughs> No testing done yet, just bolted her on. So I use bolts there and there. The silicone in there. Later on, put some bolts in those corners that ran out. And um, here's the back side. Lock nuts, they can't come out. It might work. I can't try that machine that glued it on. I don't want to get this thing stuck on there too. So I'm just gonna have to mock up my other brute. Okay, this is a mock up of my other brute, camouflage one. You can get a better look at it. Kind of suits the quad. Still, uh, when you put this as a uh, top lid on with the with this uh, spark plug, call I guess, you have to block the intake air box. Foam probably work real good. This stick a piece in that's too big for a hole and just stick her in and uh, get the silicone on the foam and shove her in. It'll expand and fill all the cracks and that should work. No problem. Or you could all, nah, that's the best way to do that. Yeah. Well, I'll do that probably. Not much so, it's a bit of silicone just to hold it a little bit. So you yank it out to the dealership, put your old lid back on, yank the foam out, okay, it's stock. I don't have snorkels. Yeah. Give you a good side view over here. My V. Two for a rip today. Pretty fun. Very fun. See if you caught and someone would even notice that. Like if you didn't know what brute was. Or you know if you had stock or what. Would have had a better angle, a lower one. But what can you do? That's what there is in Brandon. Not much of a selection. Alright, here and do a little test here. I have two inch hole in my other quad here. It's working not too bad. Pull on a test drive, you can't do anything with it, you know. It sounds pretty decent too. Demonstration on the intake of it. Stock sucking crap out of there. Oh, the tires. So what do you expect? Get vacuum cleaner. Crank the RPM up. Bang! Sucks it in. So, tomorrow I'll slap this guy on. That guy. I'll plug the hole in there with a shirt. Did this guy. I'll go for the cruise. I'll yank it off to make sure you guys here. Get 
back on here. Just for giggles, and we'll get rev it up again if the this will live back on. Just so you can see how bad it revs up. Well, it's not bad, I guess, still. Still sucking it up here. Yeah, so. Tomorrow will be a test. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. In the meantime, that's a wrap from the one side. Anything you hear in the background from music is on the radio. I have no control over it. Okay? I'm not gay from playing these songs. Lost well, screwdriver too somewhere. That little heater keeps the place all warmed up. Looks pretty good. Getting all the fumes out of here. It's running pretty rich there for a bit. I had a choke it and it was running pretty bad with the one lid. But it was a big test with this bad boy. Oh yeah. DD tracks. Muzzy exhaust might be coming this quad soon. Maybe. It's not a bad price. Four hundred dollars. Plus shipping in the States. For a great dollar, it's like five something. Plus shipping to six hundred and some bucks for on these exhaust. That's the full package, Muzzy exhaust. Sounds awesome too. And being very unique 